I'll do it. That's the one I had to do. I get it? Mm. Shit. I never sent it to myself. I did. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, shall I? I saw. Uh, Emma. Somebody adopted. Mm, 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 mm. I'm finna get your ass bitch clinch. What I like French. Let's go grab me my shop lost the on the wall. Shoot me. Shoot me. Uh, she wanna party with the bigger robot I talk to pay. Pork chop soup.
All right, y'all. I'm going ready. Go on, go ahead. Select the dog. Oh, oh shit. Yo, hold on. <laughs> Y'all. You feel like this shit not free? Only episode one free. Hey, that's some damn shit. Yeah, hell, hit them. Damn. 5, 10, 15, 20. $20 for this fucking ass shit. Bitch, I know you fucking lying. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and add this motherfucker to my damn cash app. Yeah, ain't that crazy shit, bitch. Oh, it's so fucking crazy. What fucking letter? Damn, I got down with this motherfucker good. Damn. What the fuck? Shit. Y'all, hold on. 31 motherfucking minutes. I mean, uh, it's certain. Now, that's fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. How you gonna have one episode free and then the other one you gotta pay for? Because you might as well the whole game play free. This shit been out for how many years? Nine years, and they ain't free yet. Damn. Oh, Life is Strange Two is free, not Life is Strange One. That makes sense. That makes motherfucking sense. That's motherfucking solid. it. No, it's just all ho. Bitch, let me fucking play the bitch. In the previous episode of Life is Strange, get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, Damn. leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Damn. Oh, let me go on here. Get this damn journal. Oh, you okay. right about that. Big damn bitch. What the fuck? All right, y'all. We got the we got the little handy dandy um. Journal. I hit over here. Dump. I need a smoke. Fuck. Space me out. <laughs> One touch. Turn that shit off. Bitch. I wish Apple had that fuck ass shit. B O E. Something good. 
All right, y'all, get to the point. She naked? Oh, no. No long ass, fuck ass, let's go, damn bitch. Wonder if I should go. Oh, Being a superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. A superhero, bitch. I mean, I guess. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Why she gotta be a thing? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Okay, she Max, got that? let's hit the showers now. Can you a fool, Gucci? Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. All right, ho. Guitar, DVDs. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Okay. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Somebody died. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Or oh, didn't. Somebody mama did die. Somebody dad died. Was it, was it Chloe's? I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. Bitch, I sure ass like you should. The fuck? I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Oh, girl. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? No. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Bitch. Look, there's some idea. I'm almost trying to take a damn fuck ass picture. What the fuck? Warren is blowing up my inbox now. Who the fuck is Warren? As long as he helps me figure this out. Warren, like, Max. Oh. Alright, time machine. Like, it. There's not Doctor Who. This is so insane. It sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Girl. Should I sign? Yes. But anyways, you, um... Stranger Things. She ain't being Stranger Things. Heavy Thanks, on it. Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Yeah, Bigfoot. Mm. Oh, look at drawer. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. All right. Okay. Um. What else? What's up there? Nothing else. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, look at the cell phone. <laughs> oh, 
her and these damn emojis, girl. You can tell this bitch just 2015, because what the fuck? Mmm, Rachel. Rachel Nixon. Oh, mom. Hey, honey. Hope you didn't well, forget the water your plans we gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. All right, what the what fuck was it? I do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. And Ow! Consider it done. <laughs> Girl, you need to stand up for your fuck ass. Out. You know you a bit bitch. You can really tell. You can really, you can really tumble these bitches for real. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Oh, okay, let's do it. Why the fuck you gotta stop it? Why is she? Why her fuck big ass can't do it? Girl, oh my goodness, I don't wait. Ow. Fuck shit, motherfucker. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. So on it, consider it done. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Why the fuck how big ass can do her damn fuck ass stuff? I am trying to figure the fuck out. But anyways. I I yeah. That's disgusting. Y'all need some fucking flip flops or some fucking sandals on y'all motherfucking feet. Good. Dang, I see all that fucking. Th 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 that pissed me off. Y'all pissed me the fuck off. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. Girl, you little hash it. That. <laughs> Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max. Do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Girl, your teeth is brushed. Oh, what it look like a damn, uh, um, what's that bitch name from Incredibles? Elastic, Elastic Girl. The fuck? You better be hot water. Because you know your people don't like using hot water. Cool. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. She should have got money I for know it. Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Oh, hell no. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Girl, it took you that time to say that? I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. 
I love it. Biatch, I don't like you saying that. The fuck? <laughs> it's like your ass flat, bitch. Fuck. I can't stand you. I can't stand her. Girl, did she mean you soap? I know you fucking lying. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Oh, a bitch. Your ass, girl, you should be like her. And stay your ass in the motherfucking shower. Y'all know your ass did not use no fucking soap. Girl, everybody need to take at least a 25, not even 25, at least a 30 minute to one hour, one hour shower. The fuck? Oh yeah, fucking with your fuck ass, little nasty ass motherfucker. Good. Damn, I can't do the same people who do that. Take another fucking shower. Get your ass in the room. Can't take it to that shower. Bitch. Damn, it's Victoria who said that shit. Victoria said that motherfucker. I know it. I, I know. I can see a bitch when I see one. I don't know, every time she opened that door, I feel like somebody's gonna be like, boom, got your bitch. I'm like, what the fuck? Hi, girl. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from my I mean, Juliet is right there. By the she way, didn't. the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. Who the fuck is Trevor? At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Oh. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Bitch, just Don't do it. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Yes. The fuck? Why the fuck not? If exactly. I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. All right, I'm gonna look at your shit, girl. So I'm white, might as well. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Oh, that's a shot. <laughs> you remember from last episode, homegirl? Oh. Hmm. That's a fucking shot. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Rollerblades. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Girl, saying You ain't the only one, ho. The fuck? That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Fuck your shit. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. That bitch don't fucking care. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hopefully what the fuck is Trevor? Dana Shit. takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Yeah, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, that's the case thing. 
This is both sad and pathetic. I said, get up on your good foot. Mm, 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 mm. Should I get an ass bench clench? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Damn, everybody named Mama know about this. Uh, <laughs> everybody named Mama know that Warren like this bitch. Good. Damn. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. I said, get up off your good foot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to get dressed before I go there. I, I don't brace, want to disturb you. I should have braced your fuck ass shit, you little dumb hoe. Who is this, Brooke? No Brooke here. Dang, three, I like that. 314 pie. Period. Right. Can I race this bitch? Why I got big ass head? Oh, you got big ass head. Anyways. Damn. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Bullshit, bitch. Clean this motherfucker up. Ta-da. I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Girl, fuck that shit. Let's go get that graffiti shit. Go. This. Look. I don't know if y'all can motherfuckers see this bitch. We got the character names. Okay, with that being said, we need to go see. First, we need to go get Chloe. Because Chloe is the best friend. Then we need to go to. We need to go to Dana room. We need to go to the data room, get that hairspray, go to a fucking Victoria room, spray paint that motherfucker shit. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And nothing here. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Oh. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. Mrs. Hoyta is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Oh, shit. 
shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Two, two, two. Go look around your motherfucking shit real quick before talking to your ass. She left out amnation. With who? Who just by? Auntie who? Auntie. Auntie March? Uh -huh. mm. Well, you can't take pictures of rabbits. Can they die? Because of the flash. No. Oh, no shit. No, no. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. You know what you mean? do like a door. Shit. Kate really has a doting father. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Shoot. Maybe she's going to change this. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Girl, oh, shit. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Girl, yeah, anything wrong with it. That's the Bible. I don't the Bible so dang gonna be. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. Damn. I have nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Girl, that's probably why the fuck your y'all ass like this fuck ass shit. Damn. Anyways, come to me all who What what did I say? Come to me. What did I say? Oh, Baptus eleven twenty eight. Is that a feeling in the bathroom? Girl, let me hold on, let me see. You know, because sometimes, motherfucker, I mean, video games be over here lying. Gah. What'd I say, Matthew? Matthew, what, 1128? Oh? I ain't lying. <laughs> I ain't lying. Okay. Proverbs, when justice is, when justice is done, it will bring joy and righteousness, but terror to the end. Okay. Now that's a glory to God. Shoot. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Damn, it's the all American zombie family. Thank you. I said it. She looked like a fucking zombie. I said it's fuck way shit. too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Still looks the same. Mm. Um, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's Please nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right.
Girl, first of all, I don't even fucking know what the hell you said. Shit. I wasn't paying attention to your fuck ass. But anyway, anyways, anyway, anyways. Um, 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 let's see, let's see. Uh, did you partner with them? What about the video? Why? What about this video? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks. Girl, you just get some fucking money. Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. Damn! And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. It doesn't. I can't see you partying with Victoria. Exactly. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened oh, at the party? Shit. Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? Right, it was remember, Nathan, fuck ass. It was, who was it? I remember it? getting was it? sick. It was Nathan. Just, go on. Then Nathan Prescott said Told he you. take me to the hospital. Told you. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? Let me, let me, All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. Okay. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Go ahead. Hey, Barry at. Who is baby? I'm baby. Yeah, you baby. I'm baby. Oh, yeah. I'm, I found me an outfit. You said, yeah. yeah. I mean, I had me an outfit, but I, you know, I just didn't want to um, show nobody until the day of. <laughs> See, see, I knew, I knew you were, that was gonna be your answer. That's why I didn't say that. Yeah. I don't need a pass the blunt. Shell. Here, Cam. Here, Cam. Here, Cam. Wait. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You got there, there you go, Cam. Oh, shit. Hmm. Y'all over here interrupting me and shit while I'm motherfucking playing. Damn. Damn and that's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, 
who took the video of you at the party? Nathan. I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate. Girl, we'll get you a gun. Out. Pop that nigga in the motherfucker head quick. Later, okay. Oh, am I, am I mute? Oh, shit. Thanks, I'm on mute. I'm sorry. You can put my book here near my bag. Which one? Guess it doesn't matter. Girl, don't even be mad for real. Because they obviously they uh, talking about your ass because you. Oh, uh, no. Uh, um. What the fuck do I supposed to be fucking doing? That's why I can't fucking leave. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. All right, girl. Shut the hell up. So what fuck around uh, with your fuck ass? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Right. I hate bullies. Mm -hmm. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story... Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of... What about this video? Move to be I swear, feel you I haven't watched it. it. I oh, can't even watch oh. it, Max. I won't either. Thank All right, you, girl. Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I Girl, can Girl, got a long ass neck. Basically, Damn. I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. Oh, not you. And I have no memory of it. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you. I, I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened to- th I swear to god, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. What a misty stream. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. Okay, bitch, don't have a little bad ass attitude. I don't episode. end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember. Yes, bitch, it was Go Nathan. On. Then Nathan Prescott- Alright, girl, come on. Get to the point. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's there. Girl, fuck that nigga. All I recall. Go on. I'm listening. I'm not. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Ooh. And. Ooh. And. And what, bitch? Talk. Oh. Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making oh, this shit. crap up? Why? No, I'm just being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Okay, Jesus, girl. Kate. I'm sorry. Wait, am I mute? This I'm is not. serious Fuck. shit. How do I sorry. get a viral video? So sorry. Down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. What? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? 
Ooh. Damn. All right. So this bitch named Kate, right? Do you think I should go to the police or should I go get some proof, get some evidence? I'm missing everything. Wait, let me, hold on. Let me tell you. Evidence. 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 Evidence.
Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Bitch. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning <laughs> ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Oh, what you mean by that? Mm -hmm. The fuck? Oh, oh fuck, I let it. Damn, you loud ass mosquitoes. Shit. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday? Taylor! In Victoria? Where my pen? Oh, Taylor is. Taylor is. Victoria Fran. Taylor. Ran. If you are new, I'm writing down an article. Oh, journal. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And oh, she's not Courtney. Bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk? I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Motherfucker. <laughs> this is Nathan Father. This is a message yeah. to let you know that three hundred dollars was crazy. Never mind. You can stay where you're at. Now I wanna go back. I wanna go back and tell her to uh go tell us to people. Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Max, get over here. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Uh-uh. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you right. know She did leave your fuck ass. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Yeah, girl. He like your fuck ass. I don't know what he's seen you. I don't see it, but shit.
David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Benar secara sains pakai smartphone sudah. She is. She is. Damn, 30, the speed limit. Okay, you better whip that motherfucker. She gonna sleep. <laughs> okay, you whipping that motherfucker, go ahead. Go, go ahead, motherfucker. Go ahead. Did we just pass this shit? Did, did we just hurry things up? Try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Newport, like cigarettes. Are bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Damn. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. I know that's right, Uncle Earl. Uncle Earl. Oh. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad then. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems uh like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Girl. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Mm. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there.
There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. There's the crown. Nope, I don't want to go there. Let's sit around a campfire and sing a campfire song. R C A I P F R E on the song she song. Oh, no fuck lyrics, y'all. <laughs> Let's sit around a campfire and sing a campfire song. R C A I P F R R E S O N G song. <laughs> Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> the snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Ugh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. <laughs> Not sure what <laughs> Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Right. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Lack like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. Damn. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Run for it, bitch. Breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Oh, that's Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. 
Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. Damn. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Now you're telling this nigga right in front of you. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. True. See you later, Max. Should have got a, should have cashed up, big boy. You had to do it. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Well, fuck you too, bitch. Where should we nosy yet? Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, hey. it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Like a girl, eh? Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious corners. Why does that so not sound fun? I might make Chloe check this out with me. Ooh. Oh, so sorry. Oh, wow. That graffiti has been here forever. Oh, Gross. that's crazy. So does your mom? Wow. Wow. Just rain down on me. Let your love fall like raindrops rain. Thank you, redneck poet. Just rain down. You never baby. know how weird this town is by these postcards. As the mouth of the raindrops rain. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Grilled pie. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. Okay, motherfucker. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... Our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? Oh, you can't set up a Not really. That's good. She's not a bad person. 
She's had hard times, but there's no excuse for burning things. I know her dad died. My dad died when I was 13. I never burned garbage cans or... Because you had a lit different bitch. My Joyce dad died. Yeah. Just isn't Everybody dad died? I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee Frank. and get to work. That that seems like a person you gotta be careful of, Frank. He on own an RV. There you go. Did I motherfucker? I don't feel like talking right now. All right, motherfucker. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Damn. <laughs> he sound like the Lord. <laughs> uh, hello. Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. <laughs> Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. If you have some fucking shit, bitch, then why the fuck you keep coming here, you dumb hoe? Drool. Want everything. That don't even look good. Yeah! I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos, but no fucking way. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. It's the longest episode, y'all. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like, you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? 
What did Chloe tell you? Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. So? He does care about her, along with all May the fuck students yo? at Blackwell. Fuck his ass. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady, stat. Bacon at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Girl, that's a good ass fucking price. What the fuck you talking about? The fuck? I wish this shit cost like this in Maryland. Shit. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. You're Still back to fuck up! I can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe... Uh, Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you've been rewinding yeah. time. I played this it on the weekend. All happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Girl. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you.
You need... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Oh, look. Mm. All right. You got a panda key. There it is down right here. Panda... Key... Cigarettes, girl. You need some blunt. All right, you got a three dollars. Damn, three dollars. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three dollars, eleven cents. Oh, I actually got a parking sticker. Parking. Parking ticket. All right. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Ah, shit! What the fuck? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. I'll tell ya. Girl, shit. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You <laughs> do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Tom, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hmm. Some money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Ah! Hold on. All right, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-six. Eighty-six cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Cam, what is it? Hold on, girl. Shit. Ten thirty four. Ten thirty four. Booyah, Max can tell time. Thank you. <laughs> Shit. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Girl thing. Really? We have some waffles in the freezer. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where's my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Oh! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! And a real lady going to the bathroom. Huh? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so.
The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Wait, no, she don't. Fuck. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Girl, Justin and Trevor are fighting, ah. and Joyce oh. breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. That is not a weird lady going to the bathroom. Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Slap cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Oh shit! I don't know. I thought I was ready down with the motherfucker. Oops. I'm going to predict. Is it his mug or his glass? Okay. The trucker drops his. So what happens next? The cop gets in him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Oh, Pretty bizarro, doesn't. Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club. Hmm, outside. Slap me, bitch. <laughs> he started it. I'm, I'm finished. finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. Girl, I don't want time for you this You did not shit. just say that. It's going uh, on two hours. Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way Seriously. to Chloe's cave. I said rain down on me fresh love. I got a head game. Oh, on a TV. Channel Coming 7. Up at noon, KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look Warp at some of the fun suit. video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to K Bay 7 News for the real story. 
Damn, she sounds like a lord. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from <laughs> You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? Why do they say that? I see how you roll. Or say so it like ahead. that. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Later, Mom. Bye, Joyce. Freedom! I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now follow me, young Squire Max, so we can seriously tap your power and rule the world. I hope Kate doesn't get upset at an answer. She calls her the Who is this? I believe I'll just be Nathan. Port shop suit. Wait up, Speedy. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. Sexy. Slow down. Wait for me to get your present. You can just back time up. We'll have to test you now to make sure. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. It suits you. Giddy up, Max, giddy up. You know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. <laughs> I'm not in the revolution Sorry, yet. <laughs> ah. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Oh, now go shot, find us five so bottles. Pretty please. I don't want to go that way. No, girl, she not I bought a whole bag of jello beans. Up uh, my. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Look at that noise. I can't even find one fucking bottle. That loud ass airplane, I don't see the motherfucker. What the fuck? I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Coming this fall, Max Caulfield, Bottle Hunter. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Oh, damn, he died in the car accident. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op.
This was an old school punk shirt. A little bit, but I'm, I'm gonna give you this. Somebody told me one time I don't have to preach it all at the same time. Cut it like Subway, a six inch in the morning and a six inch at night. That's not my style. I'm gonna shove this entire foot long down your throat. Hey yo, I'm sorry, this video is coming. Ah, <laughs> that's not my style. I'm gonna shut this hose 12 foot long down your throat. Oh, bitch. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Boom, only three bottles left. Thanks for the tip. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Girl. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. <gasps> I want to die. Jeez, who wrote this? So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. That kind of hurts. Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Okay, don't be jealous, because your ass fucking love. <laughs> Ouch. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Those shells look fresh. The Bigfoots were here. <laughs> I said get up for your good foot. Wait! 
heavier than I thought. Ugh. Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. One more bottle to go. Stupid bottle. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Look what we have here. Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. OMG, GG, you're a live. Kate, don't piss in me off. I'll tell ya. 10.34. Loudly crying face. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot. Oh, my bad. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. The 
Hello, what should I shoot? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Feels good, but I didn't hit any of the bottles. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. Jesus, I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Jesus, I shot myself! Well, how about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. <laughs> Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. Yeah. Glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? 
a friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Hmm. Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. <laughs> That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Nope, I don't want to go there. Mm. Where the hell is she at? <laughs> Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe... Why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. Yeah, girl. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? 
I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. I can definitely use this bad boy. Locking the drum. Come on, Max. Hurry. Now I can finally move the drum. Get me out of here, Max. I have to help lift Chloe up. I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. 
Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? I don't think so. And you hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Bitch. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Don't do that. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. 
She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I will. She's mad I missed her call today. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Think, big brain. Th hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Now. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help? I have to add either a... I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but... Go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Bring me the brain, Igor. Yes, I am a scientist. This can't be that hard. Hey, Warren. Ha Asking me for... Have to add you... I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Mm. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hey, Warren. Max. Asking me. Mm. Have daddy. Th uh. I actually think you should see. She blinded me with science. Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I need to know if 
you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's... Asking me for... Have that either... I have a vision. Godium? That's the worst. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he... Not me. <laughs> Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium... No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant... You already planned it? I borrowed the one. I hate it. Don't let me get it. Come on, guys, again. I'm tired, man. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, man. I don't want to play a Fortnite. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder, I would add chlorine. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. Yeah, you got fat This neck. whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. <laughs> what about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but... I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon.
Hey, Warren. Axel. Asking. Have to add. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a competent scientist. Let's try it. People You're running to fucking high school. I mean, I'm helping. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Man, you need to put some ice on your fucking eye. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. Fish. <laughs> Star Spangle Bay. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict a dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Join us, or die. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you... I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, oh. Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Thanks Courtney. Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. On the land of the free. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But hello, Zach. What's up, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. On the land. Of the Look at these tree. trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do I stomp. I told him get off. I said get up on your gut, but you can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. I said get up she fell off. Get up on her gut, but Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Bo, Bo, Bo. I'm kind Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to drop Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. <laughs> on the free. Got it. Hit the note. That's all that matters. And all that matters. Update that nigga's status. Now you fuck up with the bat. Now you fuck with the bat.
Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. I'm contemplating shit, bitch. She's not about me a maid for Fimiga. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think mm. Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Miss fuck or you. she'll run to Mr. Jefferson. Like he No time to talk, Max. Art like progress. anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Obviously, you motherfucker. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact... Shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. Yeah, let this bitch let let them come to motherfucker meet, man. You wanna you want some shit? Oh yeah, we give you the you the level too fast so you can't see me. On the land. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Uh, the free. I think it's Tia. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. Hi. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. Maybe I'll see we you have later. We to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. <laughs> judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. What does she say? Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry... Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. What if I'll run it like that in the middle of a hallway? No! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like Bitch, that Bitch, hurry up, again. get the fuck up, get the fuck up, get the fuck up! Listen, everybody remain seated. Girl, fucking run. Dismissed. Leave your fuck ass shit. Come on, bitch. Come on, hurry up. Come on. I'm ready to see this fuck ass shit. Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Girl, come the fuck on and run the fuck over there. Shit. I'm trying to see what the fuck going on. She gonna hey. jump up the building? Yeah. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I 
have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Yeah, yeah, I can't. That person. Yo, we are fuckers. What am I gonna do? Yes. I don't know, cause they didn't. They're gonna pin the point that you pushed her. power now I have to do this by myself Max seriously don't come near me I will jump okay okay I'm right here Kate please oh Max I know you want to help me I love that you stepped up to David but it doesn't matter now nothing matters <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Shit. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? My phone died and I didn't have my charger. I swear. I swear too. Bullshit. Everybody says that to get out of talking. Not me. In fact, I was going to get a brand new phone. Don't say anything if you're going to use a dead phone excuse. Just tell me you didn't answer. I fucked up and I'm sorry. Look, I'm here for you now. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good, we all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now, please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. Yeah, I'm gonna put some shit, but I don't fucking know what the I fuck. Can tell you more. <laughs> you're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. 
You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Bitch, how the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! Um, g give me a second. What's her name? I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh, girl, don't the fuck you didn't. Don't say that. Don't you say that. Okay. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. No! No, oh, well, shit. Is that it? I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. Yeah. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. The police Such is. a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Damn. Ha! Um. Um. Um, yeah, fuck him. 
All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No, we can go back. If I tell Jefferson I lose my scholarship, I tell David, then fuck it. All Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, True. Asher made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Oh, he in love. Warren, ha! He obsessed with I this screwed fish. up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
Oh, uh, clubs happen on um, April 8th. Shit, shit gonna happen for real. Yo, life is strange, real life. Is this shit hit? My hell, we have to dump him. It's boring that shit. All right, y'all. Come on. Mm, yeah, I feel like I want to cry. <laughs> Shit. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. Okay, right, so. Let's see. You told Kate. Okay, see, a lot of people said the same thing. We feel more proof. See, we mean we, See, everybody else. We need a vicious real, real, real smart proof. That. Okay. Um, oh, damn. I was the only who didn't answer the phone call. Oh, see everybody else. We shot. We gonna shoot that motherfucker for real. You can't save Kate. Yeah, I couldn't. Shit, shot. Right. <laughs> that's crazy. Everybody in the mama put fucking blame Nate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause we, if we would have delayed David, David kind of cool for real. I just feel like you know, I'm gonna say he cool, but he he's something. Jarvis is cool. He's scary. Yeah. You watered her plant. Yep. Hepalissa. Yep. We erased. Yep. Ah, uh, what? That's it. You friends? You, oh, damn. Was supposed to be friends with that bitch? I just said to warn. Invite. Yup. Wrote a message. Oh, I did. Yeah. Um, you tempted with the. Damn. People's gonna let that bitch die? Um, the warrant. Oh, 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 shit, bitch. Okay, bitch. Hold on. That shit scares me every time. But all right, y'all, this is uh, uh, episode two of, you know, Life is Strange. Make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe, you know, if you're new um, or old. Um, follow all the links in the description below. Uh, I might go live tomorrow. I don't know. But I might. So. This is a long, a long episode. This one, this one, this one. You know, um, I might go live Fortnite tomorrow. 
don't know about this one. I might have to say this like on Sunday. Probably Sunday, my birthday. My face, my birthday. Um, yeah, with that being said, um, have a good night. You know, uh, if you go on, if you have a Fortnite, add me. You know, so we can play together for real. We're here, we're here. Um, so with that being said, good night. Have a good night. Have a blessed night. I love you. See you next time. Bye.